Okay, guys, I went ahead and adjusted this door. And uh, it's a real nice even gap all the way down. Fits pretty darn good on the bottom. And so, did a little hammer work right in this little area right here. But uh, other than that, I think that looks pretty good. Body line works real well. And now the door opens and closes. Very nice for before. You almost had to slam it. And so, anyhow, that's done. Start blocking the rest of this. Turn this back on when I got some more done. Alright guys, and here's the passenger door all blocked down. Uh, all in all, didn't really find a whole lot. There's some high spots in here, and I kind of tapped them down with a body hammer. And that's uh, feeling pretty good. I might put a little smear of filler over that and then block it down again just to make sure I got it all. Uh, this area here, uh, the door was bent. It looked like there was some previous filler on there. I took a hammer and a block from the backside and kind of worked it from the backside. And then I kind of flattened this out. So I'm going to put a smear of filler over that and block that out. Here was a dent in the rocker I showed in the initial video. I got a stud gun and I think I welded, I don't know, about six studs on it and kind of worked that out. And that's all feeling pretty good now. It's all, you know, nice and flat. Uh, same way with this. I don't know if this will show or not, but that all feels real good there. So that's about all I found on the uh, passenger door aside from a few places where it hit the fender and the primer was chipped but uh, all in all not too too awful bad all right and here's those couple spots on the door right here's where I had those high spots I kind of tapped down and then right here was the dent in the door and the little dent that was in that rocker where I had worked it and so I think that looks uh, you know pretty good and I'll get some primer on this thing when I do uh, the rest of the car, and then we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty, guys, got the entire car blocked uh, with the exception of the rear spoiler and the upper and lower balances. And everything uh, you know, doesn't look too awful bad for the most part. Spot primed and reblocked those areas down low where I uh, had worked on it. Got the tail panel, tail panel looks good. Uh, this quarter panel turned out uh, real nice. The only thing I found on it was it had a little high spot uh, at the hole where the spoiler would bolt, and that's just from over tightening the spoiler. And so I had uh, reblocked uh, where I'd spot primed and blocked those little damaged areas on this door and the lower rocker, and that all blocked out real nice. Uh, the roof looks pretty good. I kind of went over it lightly. Uh, all of this uh, work had been done by my father in law when he owned the car. And so until I get another coat of primer on it where I can block it again, I won't really know where it's at, but I don't suspect there's uh, too awful much. Got the fenders and primer. I removed uh, all the rest of that crappy primer that was on this left fender. This is the original left fender from the car, or driver's fender. And I epox or, yeah, epoxied it, and then went over it with a couple coats of 2K. And got it looking good. Uh, passenger side fender. This was off that 72 RS, and... Uh, it's a real nice fender. I kind of fixed a couple of little areas where I'd seen it need work and reprimed it. And so that looks uh, pretty good. Did go ahead and coat the back sides of both fenders while I had them off. And so they look nice and clean in there. The hood, I kind of went over it briefly again, but it needs to be primed so I can guide coat it and block it again. So here's the uh, upper and lower balance. Those I haven't touched. I know the lower has a little ding right in there. And then the upper... Um, I'm sure it's going to be a little work where I'm pounding on it to, to get it to fit correctly with the car. But uh, other than that, uh, that looks pretty good. I did go ahead and order uh, paint for the car, and so I'm going to go with the original uh, Code 60 light copper back on the car with the black Z stripes. I mean, just trying to make it look original. That's the color. So I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and yank uh, engine or transmission out of the car. This is at 79. Uh, 350 that I helped my friend Dave uh, install in the car back in I don't know, about 2000 I guess when he bought this car and uh, so I can get the firewall cleaned up 
and the chassis cleaned up and uh, be able to shoot the fire. I like to be able to shoot the firewall, uh, the top of the cowl, the dash, and then the, below the rear window all at the same time. I do have one small little rust spot in the floor that's going to need attention. It's kind of right down there by that wrench. This little spot looks like it's probably, I don't know, inch long and half inch wide or something. So I'll probably end up cutting out a three or four inch, you know, long piece, but maybe two inch piece just to get it all out. But uh, that'll be a lot easier to do once I can pull the doors off. I think once the car's in the final prime, I'll yank the doors and take care of that right before I jam it. But uh, other than that, I mean, everything's looking, you know, pretty good. And so I will turn this back on when I got some more done. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, here is the engine and transmission removed. And so hopefully I can get a few more things off here and then start cleaning all, all of this area up. Here's the 350 that was in the, the car. Um, you know, not the original engine. Here is the original born with uh, M21 close ratio four speed. With the matching VIN number. Out of the car. And so I can get the transmission uh, you know, gone through or cl cleaned up. I suspect the trannies probably doesn't need anything to be, to be honest with you, other than clean up and a oil change, maybe a, a seal on the back. This car only had 48,000 original miles, and so I will try and run it as is. And then if there's problems, then I can try to go through it. As far as the engine, I haven't really decided what I'm going to go with uh, on it when I get to that point. Now, I do have the original Born With Z28. Uh, 350 over here. This is the original engine from the car. It uh, looks like CLJ code. Um, I don't have the original heads. The heads are gone. And it, it did, uh, I had a valve, there was a valve hit a piston on number one, and so the piston's all beat up. And so it's probably going to need board and all of that. And so what I may do is hold off. Uh, going through this engine. I want to put all the correct uh, parts on it. I want to find the correct heads. Of course, to get another set of correct pistons and, uh, you know, whatnot for this engine. Try to go back technically, you know, stock and correct. I have several to choose from. Here is the 350 that I pulled out of 69, the one I made the Enco clone out of. I could use it as a, uh, you know, platform. But what I'm thinking, I have this 350 up here. And this is a, a, a 69 300 horse 350. I took this out of a, a 69 Caprice probably, I don't know, 22, three years ago. And it was a running engine. Uh, I think the car had about 90,000 miles on it, if I'm not mistaken. But it's got, it would be a flat top. It should be a four bolt main, um, you know, 10 to one. This one does have the 186 heads. And whatnot. Now I have this set of heads, which is just another set of 186s. I had them on the convertible here several years back, and I pulled them off, and, and they're they're pretty fresh. I probably only had I don't know five or ten thousand miles on them, but they've got screw-in studs and good springs, and they were uh, had bulwark done on them, and they're a, a nice set of heads. And so I think just to kind of get this car back on the road, kind of on the cheap. I may uh, just pick one of these. I probably not, I probably won't go with that one uh, just because I don't like having a later block uh, in the car. I know it doesn't make a difference and no one will know but me, but it's just, I'm funny that way. I prefer the older stuff. And so this is a 74 uh, 350. Um, I'm sure it's got, you know, the, the dish, or not dish pistons, but the beveled edge pistons. And so it's probably only a eight, eight and a half to one. But with this set of heads here, it easily make you know over nine. This set of hit with this short block here with flat tops. Just assuming that it just uh, you know needs rings and bearings, uh, I should be able to make I don't know ten and a quarter, maybe ten and a half with these heads because these heads have been uh, milled a little bit. And so 
that'd probably make a real nice uh, healthy <laughs> engine for this car I have a 274 extreme energy uh, comp cam up there in the Raptors one that I taken out of another car years ago that was pretty low mileage I might put all that together just to put something I could say in the car on the cheap just to get it going until I can find all of the correct uh, parts to go through this I don't have the original carburetor I do have the original distributor I showed that in a previous video that's the original born with intake manifold the short block is complete uh, other than like I say it's got a bad piston I probably won't be able to see it but it's all beat to death on there and I'm praying the block is good but this would be a still crank you know good rod everything but like I said because it's a real Z28 I'd prefer to keep it as, as original as possible but as always I'm blabbering about nothing and so I may turn this off and uh, I may upload this to have something to post and we will catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching guys